Let's say you're making a pressure washer and you want to know the cleaning impact it has when sprayed on a surface. If you know the GPM and the PSI, you can use this first formula. If you know the nozzle number, which is more often the case, you can use one of the other two formulas. This one, if you know the pressure, and this one, if you know the GPM. Many times the nozzle number, like let's say number two nozzle, and the pressure, like let's say 500 PSI are known. So you'd use the middle formula there. Let's calculate this out. Uh, let's see, two, oh, it's pounds equals two times 500 over 1203. A thousand over, it's gonna be less than a pound, so let's see, 0.83 pounds. Um, I'm gonna convert it to ounces, uh, so let's see, that'd be 16. So 13.3 ounces. That means when you spray a number two nozzle at 500 psi, it will generate a cleaning force of 13.3 ounces. So, what does that mean? Well, let's say you had a scale, and let's say this is a kitchen scale where it reads in ounces. And let's say you sprayed this number two nozzle at 500 psi onto the surface. Uh, let me spray it, draw the nozzle on the wand here. Okay, let's say you did you, you sprayed it onto the scale. Um, the scale would read 13.3 ounces. Let's do another example. Uh, let's say you know that you have a number four nozzle, four nozzle, and you're going to operate at 1200 psi. So we'll calculate that out. Pounds equals four times 1200 divided by 1203. I already calculated this, it's 3.99 pounds. Uh, that's equivalent to 63.84 ounces. So in this case, uh, if you spray the nozzle, the number four nozzle at 1200 PSI onto the scale, you will read 63.8 ounces.